Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Blender modeling tutorial. This is a continuation of the teacup tutorial and this time we're going to model this saucer. So if you've done the previous tutorial, just open up the teacup file and we'll continue working. If you haven't done the teacup, that's fine. You can model this saucer, but it makes a lot more sense to model the saucer with the cup. Okay, so I'm just going to hide both of those and just going to come into top orthographic view. Shift A, Mesh, Circle. I've already got my settings in here, so 64 verts, radius of eight, and file type is triangle fan. So Shift Space, Tab, and I might just turn my cup back on just for a moment. Inset, just so we can see how far we have to go with this. That's probably about enough. And let's see, just turn that off again. Okay, control R, roll the mouse wheel, five loops, that's good. Face mode, and reselect this circle. And I've got the move tool selected with drag set to select box. All right, so I actually have proportional editing turned on. If you don't, just turn that on and change that to sphere. Just come to the side and drag this down. Just roll it out enough with your mouse wheel just to bring it out to about there. Just down to this line in the grid. Okay, that'll do. Doesn't have to be perfect. Edge mode. Just select this outer loop. And we're going to just flare this one out a little bit just by dragging it down on the Z, but we have to turn off proportional editing. Just flare that out. Now I'm, going to, I'm going to undo just for a sec because I want to Bring that down a little bit more to there. Okay, good. Now turn that off. Grab that and just bring that down and just flare that out a bit like that. That's what I want to do. Okay, base mode, just grab these again. Turn proportional editing back on and this time choose sharp. And we're going to just pull this one up on the Z. Just roll the mouse wheel just so it comes up slightly like that. So that gives you this kind of moat shape that will catch any tea if it spills. Okay, just come to the side view again. And you can see the origin is still at world zero. So we wanna bring this model back up to match the origin. So one way to do that, tab into edit mode, select this vert. Now I've got my origin menu set to control alt X. Now, in order to see that menu under add-ons in your preferences, just come in and type in 3D and just make sure you have 3D viewport pie menus checked. Once that's checked under key map, just type in origin and you'll see 3D view generic origin menu. And you can see that mine is set to control alt X. And once that's activated, you could also hit the space bar and just type in origin. And we're gonna choose origin to select it. Okay, tab, and now pressing Alt-G just to move the object back to world zero. Okay, tab back into edit mode, face mode, select these faces once again, and we still have proportional editing turned on, so we're gonna change that to smooth, and we're gonna rotate. So R for rotate, and just roll the mouse wheel out, and I think about that much would be good. Up to you whether you want to go positive or negative, doesn't really matter. I'm going to make this 30. Okay, excellent. So what we'll do now is we'll just inset like that and we will delete those faces. Select that loop. In my quick favorites, I have grid fill. Shortcut is control F. Now just straighten that up. I'm just gonna hold down the shift key and just drag offset and just straighten that up like that. Looks pretty straight to me. I might just, you know, I'll leave simple blending turned on. All right, so let's press control plus on the numpad. Making sure we're in face mode. H to hide. Two for edge mode, 
ring select and select menu and checker deselect and select menu again and this time select loops edge loops there we go and that's exactly the same technique as we did for the cup okay alt s for shrink and fatten now once again i've still got proportional editing turned on so make sure you turn that off alt s and just drag down and we want this to be minus 0 0.06 that's the setting that i used so not too deep all right alt h just to unhide make sure we're in face mode control plus just to select that extra loop and we're going to hit n make sure you have loop tools turned on in your add-ons and just choose flatten like that all right excellent so now we're going to add a solidify modifier so tab add modifier solidify and this is going to be 0.25 just like that and we're going to apply that straight away and once again making sure in face mode and we want to select all of these interfaces as well so a quick way to do that without an add-on I actually have a smart select add-on where if I press alt it will select them so that's really nice um, that's a paid add-on though if you don't have that just alt click to select that loop and in my quick favorites I just have the select loop in a region so that's a vanilla way that you can do it okay I to inset just a little bit and we'll just move this down like that which gives us a little dip there for the cup let's add a subdivision surface bring it up to two okay looking good now let's go to the bottom and we'll just deactivate that for a sec all right so for this one what we want to do is be in face mode select that and we want to select the inner region again so I'll do the same thing I'll just select the outer one and select loop inner region and we, once again we're going to flatten like that we're going to bring that up like that that should do it okay control R and control B to bevel that we don't need that extra loop so I'm just rolling the mouse wheel only want two that should do it okay just move it on Z like that and what we'll also do is control R we'll add a loop there and control R select both of those control B and we'll just tighten those up a little bit there we go it's pretty good just going to shade smooth it's looking pretty good all right so we just want to bevel here we'll select that one and that one control B and roll the mouse wheel and just, now we have two loops there so we have to dissolve one so let's just alt click and control X to dissolve there we go all right let's bring back our teacup and there we go now looking at this after I modeled the saucer I felt that my cup was a little bit tall so I thought it might be good to just you know, scale the the cup down a little bit and we could use a lattice um, there's a bunch of different ways we could do it the really lazy way is just to scale this on the Z so just hitting S and Z and then just scale that down a bit like that I think that's a, a better shape of course it does reshape the handle but it's really low poly so it should just be a case of just going in and just adjusting the handle a little bit so we covered that in the last tutorial so just you know select these loops and just move them around until you get a more circular shape but um, overall I think that's a pretty you know pretty stylish little teacup okay so thanks for watching go ahead and make yourself a cup of tea now and I'll see you in the next tutorial